Good evening. If you will please remain standing for the presentation of the colors. Forward. Art. Please stay standing for the national or for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Hello everyone, thank you for being here tonight. First up, we're gonna have Miss Emma Gonzalez to do our student perspective. My name is Emma Gonzalez and I could have never pictured myself wearing a cap and gown and delivering a graduation speech a year ago today when I was getting out of jail. But with a lot of work on myself and the help, the help of Venture, I'm proud to say that I'm graduating with my year and even a little early. Even before I had made the decision that led me to jail, there were many times when I was not sure I would make it here. Each graduate has a story, and today we are adding, it, adding to it with success. I have learned that success isn't always easy throughout my journey, but it is worth it. I want to share some of the tips that got me here today. When you make a goal, you have to know your why, the reason you want to succeed. A turning point for me was in 2021 20, when my grandmother passed away from COVID. That made me want to get better for her and me. I wanted to make her proud because I never got to show her that I had changed. At first, the news of her death had me acting out. Then I realized that was not what she had wanted for me. I would do whatever I could to make her proud of me and show her that I had made a change. Once you know your why, you need to look for your supporters. As soon as I had made up my mind that I would turn my life around, I was blessed to have my mom with me, helping me all along the way. She found out about Venture, enrolled me, and helped me getting my ID, all while taking care of me, physically and emotionally. Having her with me through this journey has made me want to graduate for her and me. Even when you have support, you have to take action. I knew my mom registering me for Venture was just the start of my journey. I had to put the work in that meant coming to school daily, staying for after school academy, and putting away distractions, or at least most of the time. 
No one gave this to me. I had to earn it, which has made this accomplishment so much more rewarding. Finally, I learned to per persevere through challenges that I could have kept that could have kept me from succeeding. I worked through mental, emotional, social, and family struggles this year alone. At other points in my life, I, f I would have let some of these challenges I experienced keep me from meeting my goals, but I was determined to push through them this time. No matter how hard life gets, I want to remind you the importance of these steps in your journey. Venture graduates of 2022, we all have a story of success. Now, I can't wait to see what we accomplish next. Great job, Emma, great job. Students, we're so blessed to have, have the support of the people who are behind the scenes, who make a difference in your educational experience every day. Among those who work tirelessly on your behalf are the members of the Arlington ISD School Board Trustees who are here today. We have Board President, Ms. Melody Fowler. <laughs> Secretary, Ms. Sarah McMurrah. We had board members, Dr. Aaron Reich, Mr. David Wilbanks, and Ms. Keisha Mays. We would also like to recognize Dr. Lena McDonald over secondary schools, Dr. Jarko, who is over our high school network, For more than two decades, Dr. Su Dr. Cavazos, the superintendent, has worked to shape the future of every student in the Arlington ISD. That's never been more evident than in the last couple of years when a global pandemic shut down and challenged our traditional schools. With his leadership and vision, the Arlington ISD has had focused direction in otherwise uncertain times. Dr. Cavazos holds both a bachelor's and master's degree from the University of Texas, Pan America, and a doctorate from University of Texas at Austin. He was recognized as the 2016 Texas Superintendent of the Year. Dr. Cavazos shares a fervent passion for service, leadership, and creating opportunities for the students and faculty of AISD. AISD is a much better place because of Dr. Cavazos. Please, please assist me as we welcome our superintendent, Dr. Cavazos. Good evening and welcome to tonight's ceremony. You know, for the past 10 years, I've stood before more than 60 graduating classes from the Arlington ISD. And each time I've tried to convey a message of how proud I am and how confident I am in the graduating class. As I stand before you today, I want you to know, class of 2022, graduating class, your adventure, I want you to know that I've never been more proud of a group of students than I am of this class this year, 2022. And I'll tell you why. You've already changed many things in this world, and you'll continue to do that. You've demonstrated perseverance. And today I urge you to turn that perseverance, like you already have, to turn it into possibilities. You know, perseverance is defined, and you know this better than I do, because you've persevered through many, many challenges and situations that we'll never know, that are personal to you, um, and you've done it, and I'm proud of you. But perseverance is defined as persistence in sticking to a plan, even though it's difficult or continued effort to achieve something despite difficulties, failure, or opposition. We watched you turn perseverance into possibilities all throughout COVID-19. This group of students has had more than two years of their education turned completely upside down. You experienced every learning model. Sometimes it was at home. Sometimes it was hybrid, sometimes it was in person, sometimes you were trying to figure out which one it was. 
But all those times you persevered and you didn't give up. But I'm here to share with you and with everyone here something you already know. That your perseverance started well beyond and before COVID. When you didn't give up because fifth grade math was too hard, or you didn't make the team, or you didn't get the grade you wanted, or the credits that you wanted, or a friendship didn't go the way you wanted it. You learned that a long time ago. You've demonstrated perseverance every step of the way, which is why you were able to persevere during a global pandemic when you were trying to just basically keep up and continue to turn in your assignments and try to get the grades, try to get the credits, and you did that. You know, Walter Elliott said, perseverance is not a long race. It's many short races, one after another, after another, after another. And you've already run many short races through your perseverance, especially the past couple of years, because you figured out how to be successful among a bunch of challenges. How do I keep my grades up? How do I stay motivated when others are not motivated around me? How do I keep going to school? How do I persevere? How do I accelerate? You figured all that out. And as you know, there's gonna be many, many more short races in our lives and your life. A boss that's too difficult, a professor that doesn't understand you, a friendship that really wasn't a friendship, or all kinds of different twists and turns. The challenges are real, but you know you can face them because you've already faced many challenges. So as you walk this stage today, and you start down yet another new path, I urge you to continue to learn and guide yourself from that perseverance you've already accomplished. Push hard to cure those diseases, disrupt business and industry, be innovative, take the stage, walk the stage, acquire a new skill, open that nonprofit, start a business, stand up for causes you believe in with your powerful voice. Perseverance over many years got you here and it's gonna get you to the next achievement and the next achievement. You're an exceptionally special group of students. And I'll tell you, I've, I've been, this is the last graduation for 2022 ceremony. And I'll tell you that venture is, just don't tell the others. Venture is my favorite. It really is. It really is. And, and the reason it's my favorite is because I, as many of us here in this audience, whether we admit it or not, can relate to the struggles. Growing up, still struggles today, growing up, going through school, and you made it. You made it because you had that perseverance. But you also made it because people around you, like they were around me, when I was going into school and trying to figure out which language in a bilingual class, right? We had people around us who loved us, and you have people around you who love you. And that love will carry you through all kinds of challenges. But venture students, you're special. You're special because you think that we teach you, and Mr. Meeks, we've talked about this before, you teach us. You teach us. You teach us and you inspire us to keep working in education to help other students be successful. So I wanna congratulate you on behalf of our entire district, Venture High School, don't tell anybody else that you're my favorite, okay? <laughs> but you are, so congratulations, this graduating class. Well, Dr. Cavazos is live stream, so some people may know, so. <laughs> anyway, good evening. It is my distinct honor to stand before you today to celebrate the individual journey of each of you, our graduates. For us to gather here at this moment, it requires the work and the commitment of many professionals, both behind the scenes and on the front lines. Before I address our students, I would like to recognize the professionals who make this possible. Our campus team would like to thank our superintendent, Dr. Gavassos, our academic, chief academic officer, Dr. Wartz, and our AISD school board for the belief and support 
an alternative style of learning that we have been doing at Venture for 34 years and counting. Also, I would like to thank Dr. Jarko and Dr. McDonald for their direct support throughout the year that led us to this time of celebration, specifically fighting for you all, so we appreciate them. Lastly, I would like to say thank you to the bedrock of our success, the Venture High School, the award-winning model campus recipients for the Raise Your Hand Texas, Ms. Jackie Parsons, our assistant principal. Don't give her, don't do too much. Our newly hired counselor, Ms. Krista Hanks. Our social work department, Mr. and Ms. Grossman and Ms. Kunkel. Coupled, coupled with 35 of the most nurturing and supportive staff in all of secondary AISD campus, campuses, Thank you for those that are over here in the side box and thank you for those at home. I will go off script a little and that's dangerous, but I tell you, you can't make this up. This is just good. And so thank you all. You are seeing the fruits of your labor here before you. We are appreciative of our volunteers and our community partners that have supported us through such a challenging but crucial time in all of your lives. Lastly, parents, guardians, and friends, extended families to those of us today in person and streaming live, thank you for entrusting your young adults to us during such a pivotal time in their lives. You've heard the saying, it takes a village to raise a child. It takes a village to support a young adult to success, so thank you all. Now to the graduates. Listen just a little closely, maybe you can get a little bit from this. This is a remarkable day to say the least. Venture has been around for 34 years, doing things just a little bit different. With nearly 5,800 credits, or 5,800 graduates total, many people ask me, what is a Venture student? I wish I could take a picture of this here today and say, this is a Venture student. See, Venture isn't what most people perceive it to be. Venture is everything to every student, as it should be. Today marks the day of our second graduation ceremony to celebrate in this grand fashion. I do not want to minimize the years that we've had before, whether it was blowing bubbles down the hallway or the clap out or just a pat on the back. But you know what? Graduations in our, in our cafeteria every Friday, those are simply amazing. It's still a celebration. Congratulations. Venture started with only six graduates in its first graduating class in 1988 and has never looked back. We have always looked to the future. We looked at you for the you that you could be and ran with it. So today, yes, it is a big day. Do you remember the day that you came to Venture? You sat down in the library, not fully knowing what you were getting yourself into. Kind of awkward, you were kind of unsure. Wait, back up just a little bit because prior to that, you took a leap of faith and decided that you needed something a little bit different. You filled out the application, requesting an opportunity to come to Venture. And I must say, we have as many as 500 students on the waiting list. Nonetheless, you took a chance on us and we chose you. One thing that is for sure is that change is inevitable. Good change or bad change, but it will occur. That step of faith you took that day was good change. You might not have felt it then, but it was. Do you remember when I asked you how many of you loved going to school? Almost nobody raised their hand. While I may not ask you if you love the school in recent days, I would ask you how many of you loved Venture. And I tell you, most of you will attest to that. I believe most of you would raise your hand. Most of you would say that Venture was a changing point in your life. Some of you would say Venture saved your life, or even that Venture was an opportunity that was positive for you. But your journey is not over yet. See, your story is just beginning. I ask you, what is next? I would venture to say that challenges are coming your way. I would say that determination will be needed. I would say that good old hard work will have to take place. We tend to forget that hard work that we put into it. Many of you earn large amounts of credits that you could have never imagined prior coming to venture. This year alone, we had 4,200 credits earned and 225 graduates, counting. 
Our graduates span from a 2020 cohort to 31 early grads, so we're super proud of you. That accelerated pathway to graduation helped you while you were at Venture. While it was a challenging year, we had success. You are the visual representation of that success. I would be remiss if I didn't give you a bit more advice. Here's a bit of it. Life, don't just go through it. Go through, don't just go through it, go through it. Put your phone up. Don't just sit here, ask for help. Stay true to who you are. Trust yourself. Don't let your own thoughts and feelings stop you from being great. Take advantage of the opportunity you have in front of you. Oh, and one more time, put your phone away. Don't let life pass you by. You might ask, who are all those wise people? Abraham Lincoln, no, well, they didn't have cell phones back then, but it was you, yes, it was you. All have given, you given future students advice on Fridays, and this is directly from you. Those are your quotes. So I encourage you to follow your advice. Venture is a mi mixed bag for sure. That is who we are. All are accepted and all are helped no matter their situation. Nobody is turned away when help is needed. My hope is that you take all of these things you've learned about life and do something with them. Use your problem solving skills, your mediation skills, your conflict resolution and your communication skills. Accept all no matter the situation they are in without judgment. I told you in orientation that the world is here to help you. You just have to want to accept the help. Yes, the world will judge you, prove them wrong, make a difference. Now, will the graduates please stand? <clears throat> All right. President. President. President Fowler, Dr. Cavazos, members of the board, I proudly present you these students have successfully completed the academic and attendance requirements for graduation as prescribed by TEA and the Arlington Independent School District. Congratulations to the graduates of Venture High School for 2022. At this time, will the graduates present themselves to receive their diploma? I would like to... I would like to remind the families and friends of the graduates. I would like to remind the family and friends of the graduates that, are, that we are here to honor each student's achievement out of respect for this special and solemn ceremony in keeping with dignity in this honor. We request that you demonstrate your appreciation for each graduate appropriate with an appropriate applause. At this time, graduates, you may be seated. Ashley Annalise. <laughs> Madison Allen. <laughs> Madison Ash. <laughs> Anil An Anariba. Ariana Ashley Randall. Justin Baker Warren. 
Brianna Tanise Bell. Lauren Raquel Bennett. Leah Danielle Bennett. Amaya Nicole Bentley. Alex Bernal Flores. Anaya Simone Booker. Samantha Yvette Brizuela. Jaslyn Sade Brookins. Tommy Brown. Christina Marie Brown. Claudia Calderon. Omar Capusano Reyes. Demetrius Dequan Carroll. Kaverion Lamont Carson. Mark Anthony Castillo. Carolina Chavez. Tamia Coleman. Brizia Contreras Medell. Jessica Cordova Sandoval. Micaiah Davis. Elisa De La Torre. Pamela De La Cruz. Brooklyn Dennis. Nohelia Dimas. Alyssa Jade Edwards. Yesenia Elizondo. Tiant Epperson. Destiny Faladay. Jacqueline Flores. Caitlin Danielle Fuentes. Marsha Alexa Galaviz. Eminel Garcia. Crystal Carolina Garcia. Jacqueline Garcia Lopez. Sabine Alexa Garibaldi. Sarah Grace Giuliati. Crystal Ashlyn Jerome Garcia. Drayana Jasmine Garrett. Mackenzie May Garrett. Australia Gonzalez. 
Emma Gonzalez. Daisy Gonzalez. Jordan A. Gray. Ashley Guerrero. Roman Arnett Hampton. Samantha Nicole Hennigan. Michael David Hennigan. Asusena Hernandez. Brisa Danielle Daniela Hernandez. Carmen Angela Hernandez. Luna Elizabeth Hernandez. Simone Darqueta Howard. Luis Julian Huerta. Dennis Jackson Jr. Jaden Jason Carden. Micaiah Daniela Jones. Ariana Camilla Jones. Paola Guadalupe Juarez Gonzalez. Kenley Kerms. Demetrius De Lamont. Dayana Cabello. Victoria Lee. Richard Carroll Long. Nick Teja Lopez. Natalie Luna. Christine Marie McPherson. Desney Marquez. Ariana Martinez. Jordan Mayfield. Star Legale McGee. Emily Rain Meyer. Leah Montelongo. Miriam Montez. Ariana Munez. Matthew Munn. Jesus Najera Contreras. Delina Wynn Tran. Edgar Nieto. Aldolfo Emmanuel Nunez. Jake Ryan Ogle. Diane Okelu. Montserrat Deyanira Ortiz. Wow. 
Alexa Ortiz. Asia Nicole Perkins. Ebony Monet Phillips. Gabriel Joaquin Pina. Alicia Quinones. Lydian Renteria. Alfred Ricks Creel. Edwin Rodriguez. Gustavo Salazar Jr. Esther Sanchez. Monica Santillan, uh, Satillan. Jasmine Shelton. Natalie Jessica Marie Simmons. Emery Zach Smith. Shanti Asia Spears Suggs. Amy Tapia. Detavius Dwayne Thomas. Kamaya Danae Thomas. Detriana LaKaili Thompson. Alexandra Judith Torres. Alexandria Jade Tort. Danny Vasquez. Areli Gomez. Assyria Sana Scott. Kylie Jordan O'Ree. Ariana Lachey Williams. Autumn McKenzie Wright. Jaborian DeLeon Zimmerman. Justice Nicole Jackson. Priscilla Alexandria Garcia. Laura Yulina Yuliana Re Reza, sorry. Laura Julian Rizzo. Tuesday, Camille Justice. Journey Shelton. Martez Deshaun Moore. Sarah Lynn Vacuda. Kara Wilkinson Hefner. <laughs> Alyssa Autumn Mansell. <laughs> Zaida Abigail Lo Lopez. <laughs> Derek Woodrow. <laughs> Eric Giovanni Bermu Bermudez. Hannah Rea. Gabriel Alvarez Mendoza. Sorry, I saw one paying attention.
For the last time, Venture High School graduates, please stand. You can move your tassel from the right to the left. That, uh, that was quite a bit of excitement. This is gonna conclude our ceremony. At this time, we ask the guests remain seated while the graduates proceed out. Then you will meet your graduates in the parking lot. Thank you and have a good evening.